Hi guys! Welcome to this episode, as I will say when I start the actual tutorial, of when in the hell will I get my crap together Wednesday. This was supposed to go up yesterday, but for some reason my camera was set to photos, not video, and I didn't realize it until after I had completely finished the look. I was so mad. That was an epic camera fail. But, <clears throat> as you can tell, I went with a vintage classic bridal look. The very simple, you know, kind of ivory colored dress or clothing. I've just got my little ivory lace cardigan with my ivory lace sheath maxi dress that I picked up at Walmart. Just a little phony bouquet that I put together with silk flowers from Hobby Lobby. My little hair flower instead of a veil I picked up at Hobby Lobby also. It's got little pearl sprays in it and it's actually made out of feathers so it gives that really vintage but at the same time elegant and flowy design. I just did a basic side bun. I was going to do something a little bit more elaborate, but I was like, you know what, I don't have the patience. <laughs> so, this is the look I'm going to be recreating for you today. So stay tuned, and I will show you how I put this look together. See you at the end of the video. Enjoy. Something else I forgot to mention <laughs> before I go any further. Just for the red lips, the classic red lips, there are a few shades you can go with. This one that I'm wearing is from Rimmel and it is called Ballistic. I'm not even sure if it's still in production. But there's another shade you can use from NYC and it's the Expert Last lip color and it is called Red Suede. It is one of their matte lipsticks. I tried this one yesterday when I was originally filming. It came out a little bit too bright of a red for me, but if you want that nice bright red, this one would be a good bet. And another one that I would recommend if you want it even darker, especially if you're a darker skin tone, would be Deepest Cherry. And this one is the Color Sensational from, I believe, Maybelline? Yes, Maybelline. And it's just really deep, dark, almost vampire red. So don't let the purple cat fool you. It is a red. <clears throat> but anyway, I will let you get on to the tutorial. See you at the end. Enjoy! Hi guys, uh, as you can tell, i got my first eye done already for this edition of <laughs> When in the Hill Will I Get My Crap Together Wednesday. This was supposed to go up yesterday, but as I posted on Instagram, if you follow me, you will notice that I posted a picture after I had everything done. I did not realize until I'd finished my naked eye until, <clears throat> or should I say, I did not realize that my camera was not recording for some reason. It was set to photos and not video. I don't know why, because I could have sworn it was on video. But I didn't realize till after I was done that it wasn't recording. And I was like, it's 5.10 a.m. I don't have time to completely redo this by the time my boyfriend gets home from work. So I'm having to re-record it tonight. <laughs> so that's why I called it the when in the hell will I get my crap together Wednesday. <laughs> but on with the tutorial. I am using nothing but my chocolate bar palette for this look. So I will tell you the locations of the colors as well as the names of the colors if you want to jot those down in case you want to recreate this look instead of having to show you each individual color just because it'd be a whole lot easier and I'm trying to show a lot of time off this video. So let's get rolling. First off I am going to take a little fluffy crease brush. This one's from EcoTools. They call it the highlight brush, but it's more like a, just a fluffy crease brush. And the first color I'm going to pick up <clears throat> is Ho Chocolate. It is the bottom row, third shadow. So in other words, it would technically be the middle shadow since there are five, but the fifth one is larger. So I'm going to pick up Ho Chocolate. And I don't want to pick up much, just a little bit. 
it's going to serve as my crease transition color. I'm still using my little price tag as my stencil for my outer corner. Going underneath my lash line and then up to the outer V. I'm going to start by just popping it in that outer edge right there and slowly work it inward and up into the crease. Again, you don't want a lot of this just serving as a transition color. And now we have that nice hard edge. Clean out my brush for later use. And next, I'm going to take this little angled brush right here, also from Eco Tools. This one they call the crease brush. Make sure it's cleaned out. And I'm going to pick up mostly amaretto, which is the fifth shadow in the second row of the palette, and just a tiny bit of cherry cordial, which is the bottom row next to hope chocolate on the right. Place this again, and this I'm just going to work a little bit in the outer corner in that V, as well as onto the lid about one third to one half of the way in. And of course, just slightly up into that transition color, just enough to blend it so it's kind of seamless. There we go. As you can tell, it looks a lot darker, but it's not near as dark in real life as it is on camera. It's still dark, but not too dark. And my nose is starting to water again. What gives? Hashtag watery nose. <coughs> Next, I'm going to use that same brush after I've cleaned it out, and I'm going to go into the second shadow in the middle row, and it is called Marzipan. And I'm going to actually load the brush up with that. And you won't need the card or whatever you're using for your edge for this. You can also use scotch tape. But I'm going from the inner corner over to the middle and slightly on top of the cherry cordial slash amaretto combination. And slightly up into the crease. Again, just kind of blend it with that transition color. And that actually, you know, brightens it up a lot. Now I'm going to clear out that brush right away. <clears throat> Thirdly, I'm going to take this little pencil brush. It's the end of my duet brush. It's just the pencil end. This one is from Crown Brushes, and it is the Shadow Crease Duet. So I'm picking using the pencil end, and I'm picking up just a little bit. Top row of the palette, far right, and it is called Triple Fudge. Line that up again. And I'm going to start first by coming along the bottom lash line, working my way, you know, about two thirds, maybe half of the way along that lash line. Then I can focus some right there in that outer corner and gradually work it up into the crease.
like so. And not even picking up any extra, I'm just going to use what's left to blend that line so it's a little bit blurred. But still a nice, obvious V shape. And even bring it down just a tiny bit under the bottom, under the bottom lashes, that outer edge. And there we go. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. concealer brush, as they call it, it just looks like an oversized crease brush to me, and I'm just going to go over the whole crease and just kind of soften everything up, just buff it out a little bit. And you can also notice I'll hold it way out here at the end, that way the brush does all the work for me. Go soften it up just a little bit. And lastly, for my brow highlight, I did darken my brows just a little bit. But I'm going to use the top row second shadow, which is the large eyeshadow on the top, and it's called White Chocolate. And I'm also going into the bottom row into Champagne Trouble. I had to remember what the name was, and I'm just combining the two. and using that as my brow highlight. And of course you can bring it down just a little bit to the top of the crease so it's nice and blended. You can even bring this down in the inner corner if you want to. There we go. Next I'm going to take my NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker Pen or eyeliner pen. These never quite come out black for me, mainly because I'm putting it over top of shadow, so it tends to dry out the tip a little bit. So I just use it to get my wing shape molded, and then I will go in with a liquid or gel eyeliner and fill it in. Hold it taut. You can see how the wing shape's just kind of molded in place. It's kind of like just a rough sketch, pretty much. And I'm going to grab my Maybelline Ultra Liner, which is waterproof. I believe they do have a non-waterproof version, but again, this being a bridal tutorial, you're probably going to be sobbing your eyes out at a wedding, so you want something waterproof so it doesn't go streaming down your face. <laughs> getting time for a new tube of this stuff because it's starting to get a little dry. There we go. 
Now I have my rough line formed with that. It's nice and darkened up a bit. <clears throat> and since it dries fairly quickly, now I'm going to take my Rimmel Exaggerate Eye Definer Waterproof Eyeliner in, of course, Noir. I do have a new one in Black is Black. I'm just trying to burn through this one before I open my new one. So this serves kind of to thicken up the line, fill in any blank spots. as well as blur things out just a tiny bit. <clears throat> Actually, why in the heck am I twisting that back down? I'm also going to close my eye around this now so I can tight line my upper lash line, or my upper water line, excuse me. And also, Just really darken up the outer corner. And get the bottom water and lash line to just behind this side behind my tear duct. I don't want it to go all the way in. That one, my eyes will look a little more open. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my eyelash curler and just warm it up in my hand for a second because I don't have my signature lighter in here that I use for warming this up. So I'm just going to warm it up in my hand for a minute. And curl my upper lashes. Especially try to get those outer ones curled. There goes my watery nose syndrome again. And now I'm going to take my Lash Blast Length Mascara from Curver Girl. And first I'm just going to go over the top of the lashes just to darken them up. Then come from the underside. Um, for my falsie, I can't remember what lashes these are. I think they're from Ardell. <clears throat> but they're rather thick. Because after all, vintage lashes were known for being very dense and heavy. And also, just the fuller they are, the more dramatic they're going to be. A 
let them dry for a few seconds. And the trick that helps me whenever I'm putting on my falsies is I'll actually look down into my mirror. And that will help me get really nice and close to the lash line. Give that a minute to dry. And I've already blushed one of my cheeks. So I'm going to do my other one now and I'm going to grab my Luxie Large Angled Brush. Which I've got in one of my Ipsy bags. And the blush I'm using is from Hikari, and it is called Tango, which was from, I believe, this month's Ipsy Bag, which was the Beautifully Bohemian. It's just a very bright pink. <clears throat> but vintage times, they were known for wearing a lot of blush. So I wanted something that was really going to pop. I'm just going to blend that out a little more. Now that my lashes are dry, I'm going to take my Exaggerate Eyeliner Pencil again from Rimmel. And I'm just going to go over my lines from my glue just to camouflage them a bit and there we have the eyes and everything done Zoom out. And for my lips, uh, I've been trying to decide on what shade of red to use. I think I'm going to try Ballistic. This one is from Rimmel, I believe. Yes. I don't even know if they make this one anymore, but it's just a nice deep red. And normally with red lipstick, I would advise wearing a lip liner. I just completely forgot about it until now. One of the keys to a vintage look, you definitely want that nice, sharp, angled, or even sometimes rounded Cupid's bow. Edge is a little rough, so I'm going to grab this little brush right here, and I'm just going to use it to even out the edge.
section. There we go. I don't know why my nose waters like that. But there you have the finished look. I'm going to go slip into something a bit more formal just to, you know, kind of give it that final flair so you can see what it looks like. And I'll be back in just a minute. Hi guys, I'm back. I've got my little more formal ensemble. <laughs> Instead of opting for a veil this go around since I didn't have one in ivory, I just went with this little ivory feather flower that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's got pearl sprays and stuff like that in it. I thought it was really pretty. I put together just this nice vintage red bouquet to complement the lips. It's also why I had my red and black backdrop. <clears throat> just to go along with the whole vintage theme, you know, with the popular red retro lips and everything like that. I just wanted everything to tie together. But this is the finished look. The dress is actually one that I showed in my uh, late night retail therapy video. It's just a lace sheath dress, lace sheath maxi dress. It's nothing formal. It was really inexpensive, but you can dress it up or you can dress it down. As you can tell, I just dressed it up. Um, my bouquet, I just put together with silk flowers I found at Hobby Lobby. I wrapped the base with black ribbon just so it wouldn't make my hands sweat for this video. But this is the finished look. Um, the jewelry is actually a necklace that I showed back a few months ago when I first started my channel. This is one that I completely redid. I do still have one of the original ones, but this was just the redone copy. I thought it had a nice little antique vintage flair as well as just looks really expensive, but it's not. <laughs> but that's all for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Sorry for the tacky watch. I know it goes along with the total vintage theme, right? <laughs> but give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to me on Instagram or Twitter at OXGlitterDivaXO. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.